Senate concurrent resolution 35, April the 7th. Thank you, Madam President. My Athenian gravitas is a neuromuscular disease primarily characterized by muscle weakness and muscle fatigue. This is the most common, common primary disorder of neuromuscular transmission. My Athenian gravitas is caused by a normal immune reaction which lies in the immune defenses inappropriately attacks certain receptors and muscles that receive nerve impulses. Symptoms include eyelid drooping, double vision, weakness of the face, swallowing, chewing, and weakness of the limbs, and severe symptoms include weakness of the diaphragm, which can cause severe difficulty in breathing. There are an estimated 36,000 to 60,000 cases in the United States, but this disease is heavily undiagnosed. The actual number of cases is probably a lot higher. The Muscle Movement Foundation has played an integral role in advocating for and supporting those with myasthenia gravis and other neuromuscular diseases. Headed by Rob DeMacy, which you'll hear on the floor here shortly, this group has provided relief and peace of mind to many people throughout my district and the state. I would now, Madam President, ask for privilege of the floor for Rob DeMacy, who is the founder and CEO of Muscle Movement Foundation. Personal privilege so granted. Good afternoon, sir. If you're all kindly come aboard. Appreciate uh, your advocacy. Uh, we ask that you forgive your name and organization so you can record in an official record and then your comments. My name is Rob DeMacy. I'm the founder and president of the Muscle Movement Foundation, a local 501c3 organization here in the state of Delaware that combats neuromuscular disease. Ten years ago, I lay virtually paralyzed from head to toe, unable to walk and stand, and experiencing great difficulty with swallowing, speaking, and breathing. After spending several days in a local hospital, I was discharged with yet another misdiagnosis of anxiety and depression. Thankfully, the following week, I was promptly diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, also known as MG, by my family practitioner. My four-year battle of misdiagnoses was finally over, and I was no longer forced by local physicians to believe the symptoms I was experiencing were being made up in my head. Stories like mine are all too common in the MG community. My senior gravis cause, is caused by an abnormal immune response in the body, where one's immune system is stacked, mistakenly attacks the connection between one's body's nerves and their muscles, as creating extreme muscular fatigue, weakness, and paralysis throughout the body. An MG crisis is when one's diaphragm muscles become too weak to breathe on their own, which results in respiratory failure that requires immediate intubation. As my fellow MG muscle champions battle these symptoms daily, we can only hope to enhance treatments, preventative care strategies, and awareness about the disease that we work to overcome daily. Senator Walsh and Representative Pence, the sponsors of the resolution, have not only listened to the concerns of their constituents, but have taken action to bring vital awareness to this disease. While initiatives such as this resolution, and for example, the Share the Care Act, which was signed by Governor John Carney last week, our Muscle Movement Foundation community remains optimistic that enhanced awareness will lead to stronger medical care for our loved ones in need. In closing, I encourage the support of a task force to study and make findings and concerning the prevalence of my and gravis in the state of Delaware, as well as additional prevalence rates that are unidentified in our state for additional forms of neuromuscular diseases, such as muscular dystrophies and muscular atrophies. Thank you again, Senator Walsh and Representative Pence, for transforming hope into reality for our families and youth.